money customers traveling with small children or needing assistance. Uh, I'm in Kigaska right now. It's the m beginning of November. I've been incredibly busy with traveling. Um, so, anyways, this is end of season work, which is only going to consist of uh, hitting off a couple more ports, getting the last bit of cargo, and taking everything down towards Montreal to a place called Trois Rivières. Our next destination is going to be Wishikute River. Um, Gonna pick up our barge there and then get off to St. Augustine. At some point today or tomorrow, we're going to deliver the barge, this barge, to a place called Northeast Bay, and there's a landing, so we're basically going to beach the barge, we're going to leave it there, we're going to take off to the next port, we're going to take off to the next port after that, then we're going to come back here, pick up the barge, and then take it down the river to Trois de Vienne. and that should be the end of the season. That's the plan for now, it's all subject to change. Seeing that 
we are in the middle of wilderness, there is no cell phone signal here. So what we use, a satellite internet. So I just turned that on now, it's tracking online now, so we come to our computer. After the storm has passed, we quickly sailed over to a village called St. Paul's, where we spent a week at anchor. Now, the reason we're waiting around is because we need the tide to be just right to bring the barge out of the river, and that takes time. And every single day, we had crew members traveling back and forth to the river to prepare everything for the towing operation so when the time comes, we're all ready to go. D-Day has arrived. It's also the coldest day of the year so far, but finally the barge is coming out in a couple hours. We've positioned ourselves at the mouth of St. Paul's River, just floating around, locked in by the ice. We heard is we're going to Harrington, then we're going to drop the barge off, then we're going to go to St. Augustine, pick up another barge, and then deliver that one to our final destination of Trois-Rivières. Currently we're waiting for the first barge to come out of the river, this small little boat that just came in, the Nantic. They're going to take the barge from the river, because it's too shallow for us to go in. They're gonna bring it up here, we're gonna tie up onto it, and basically take it under tow from here to the next destination. Third uh, round of the bar. Third granola bar? Man, first thing when they gave that.
taken the barge from Francis, the guy who was driving the smaller tug. We attach it to what's called our hip. So we put the barge on the hip, and the reason for that is because we can't maneuver through all these islands on a 700 foot tow. So we attach it to us, so now we're a composite unit. The barge is on the hip, the boys are getting the water out from the tanks, trying to make the barge trimmed evenly. And after all is said and done, we finally set sail to our next destination, which is now confirmed to be Harrington Harbor.